Ted joins us now with the latest on our Wednesday afternoon. Things uh, pretty unsettled out there, Jess. You've had some drizzle, some sprinkles already. We're going to see a little more uh, shower activity, a little more thunder, but nothing like this. And look closely. This is uh, one of the two shelf clouds we saw rumbling through Rochester. Here's time lapse from last evening. In intense thunderstorms. This is the one that came in just after sunset officially. Line of thunderstorms dropping some downpours of rain. That a line of storms coming through. And then uh, just after midnight, things really got quiet in a hurry. And we had a nice quiet overnight periods. We were able to then rest up after a very raucous evening of intense activity. Right now, looking northward, you see some gray skies uh, looking down Broadway and dry pavement. Here's our Louis Donato camera in downtown Rochester. Still uh, certainly a murky, muggy day, low clouds and some tiny breaks of sun uh, around the area. 72 right now in Rochester, dew point 65, certainly an assertive amount of humidity out there. Not a lot of wind out there to stir things up, so definitely it feels a little sticky out there. Air pressure rising 29.90 in the barometer. Uh, temperatures across the map, mainly in low 70s. Uh, room temperature weather. There is a weak front trying to work its way in. That's generating some showers. So where it's been grayest and damp, uh, most wet over the last few hours, those are the coolest readings. Albert Lee's been in and out of the showers there at 65, 66. Meanwhile, in Owatonna, most other spots, low 70s. Showers, a couple of late day thunderstorms uh, still possible, especially by early evening. And then morning rain tomorrow gives way to afternoon sun. And that's with another cold front coming through that's going to usher in drier breezier uh, more comfortable weather at least less muggy weather and then the weekend looks actually fantastic with dry sun filled conditions sprinkles around Rochester up toward Pine Island and to the west around uh, uh, Manterville and uh, Blooming Prairie and Albert Lee another little batch of showers northward uh, toward North Northfield and uh, also around uh, Kenyan area, but those showers are being generated by one front that's going to slowly edge its way through the area over the next 12 hours and there's that second front that comes through tomorrow following the first one. So a couple of waves of showers and then we get a break about maybe three or four days without rain with very few clouds for that matter. But here's high rise future track. Some uh, showers slowly drifting to the north. Again, this front is basically stalled in place. Not a lot of motion in the atmosphere and certainly not a lot of turbulence to develop severe weather. But showers and just enough instability for a rumble of thunder or two this afternoon into the evening. And then we'll see uh, activity slowly begin to weaken after midnight. And we'll see maybe a spotty shower still beyond that though for the overnight Hours and for the first half of tomorrow. Showers, a couple thunderstorms, 77 the expected high, a fairly light breeze turning to the northwest as that first front then moves through. 70s today, we see resurgence of warmth tomorrow, especially with that afternoon sunshine. Even though it'll be behind a cold front, we'll still manage mid 70s for our Thursday. As we look at future track, here's that first front and the showers with it. Clouds holding on through tonight. Uh, more activity as a secondary wave of energy comes in with that front tomorrow. Then skies clear off, a gusty northwest breeze at times 20. To 25 miles per hour. Dew points will be dropping, so dry air comes in. And we have that beautiful round of high pressure coming in for Friday. Kind of a still breezy day with low humidity and high temperatures only in the mid and upper 60s. And we have that range again for Saturday as well. So a change of uh, situation overall. And we'll see very dry air coming in, very comfortable atmospheric conditions where we were a few weeks ago when we were free of humidity and with cooler than average weather. Last time we had that a couple weeks ago. We'll be in the 60s this weekend. Resurgence of warmth though for the first portion of next week as we move into, Ju into June, that is 70s and then mid 80s. It looks like we'll be in that range for much of next week. So warmer than average weather down the road. 70s to around 80 today in Plainview and in Austin. 77 meanwhile in Preston here in Rochester. 77 mostly cloudy skies, some showers, perhaps a few late day thunderstorms and winds out of the south around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 62 tonight, some thunder at possible in the evening, then light rain overnight, and a few morning showers, very spotty light activity, very little in the, in the way of rainfall. 76 the afternoon with northwest winds up to 20 miles per hour. Seven day outlook, a couple of rounds of maybe small doses of thunderstorms as warm air moves into the area for early next week, and then that warm sun filled weather will be the rule beyond that for the coming days. So some variety just, but we have a little something for everyone. Some cool, crisp weather and still mm -hmm. some warm summer like weather. Yeah, plenty of variety there.